Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from my TV YouTube and today as you can see by the title what I'm going to be doing so I can skip what I'm uh, saying what I'm going to be doing and get yeah, into it tell you to subscribe like comment and share because that's the normal thing to do that <laughs> and uh, turn on post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video if you're not already subscribed what are you doing <laughs> hit, that, hit that subscribe button right now I will find you <laughs> And yeah, uh, let's get into the video. <laughs> uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can really see by the title, this video is going to be Are Humans Created to Created <coughs> Are Humans Equal to Any Other Living Creatures? Now, mm, I mean, you could say, oh yes, we eat the eagle, <laughs> You could say that, oh yes, we eat the animals, they are less than us, we cook them and we stab them and then we eat them. And that, that is true, but that, does, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are dominant or, or yeah that is more of a dominant characteristic or behavior but that does not mean that they are not equal to human beings due to the fact that i'm a hundred percent fine um four percent sure that <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm four percent sure that we were eaten uh, school four percent sure 100 percent sure that people die via other humans people die via other animals now if we were to retain this dominant behavior and say yes we eat the animals don't we also aren't humans also being eaten being eaten in general by other let's say sharks poisoned by spiders swallowed whole by snakes all sorts of things so that does not necessarily that we that's not necessarily it's not necessarily the case that we are the, at the top of the food chain and due to the fact that there are many other deadly deadly animals out there so that just rounds up that humans definitely have to be equal to other animals because we eat each other i guess equally <laughs> no one's holding back you just i guess uh hunt for animal uh, and then an, uh, and you don't hold back at all with all of your weapons and guns and when an animal god forbid not you and eats any other human being they won't hold back they would want to eat that human being no one's holding back no one fighting each other equally it's calm it's not necessarily like that but you know when when the animal wants to eat the human he wants he or she wants to eat the human he will or she will go in for that flesh this is a really disturbing video so i'm definitely gonna put this on not for kids so it's definitely gonna be the same thing means when human beings want to eat the animal they want to eat the animal they will they will scavenge they, okay? uh, they won't scavenge they will properly properly hunt for the animal now are humans superior uh, at the top of the food chain than on animals well i mean no i personally don't think we are humans yeah sure we have plenty great skills and we have developed many horrific weapons but we have developed many useful weapons to hunt animals and i mean by ourselves i don't really think that without the weapons we will be quite defenseless and we won't really be able to be at the top of the food chain so i would call the weapons a bit of a cheats in ting because uh, no, no no one's gonna like have a knife coming out of their hand or something like a porcupine has spikes on its back that's natural you want to see a gun coming out from someone's ass and then they're shooting people from their butt cheeks that doesn't make any sense that, that you won't be seeing that so i would say that animals have the upper hand when it comes to fighting human beings because we have anaconda, not we, 
anacondas they're just anacondas spiders they're just spiders snakes like just genuinely snakes praying mantis have you seen the video of a praying mantis eating a chameleon it is the most horrific thing i have seen in my entire life but it was the most fascinating thing i've also seen in my entire life just this i don't want to get into the details just animals are not necessarily inferior but neither are they superior i'll say we're on, we're on par humans and animals were they're on par with each other due to the fact that god created them i know i'm establishing some sort of religion but i don't give a crap if you don't give a crap about religion i don't give a crap about that so i'm just gonna say anyways god created all of us equally technically and we all came to his mind and he was like oh yeah let me think about this thought 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 thought, thought. up here uh, i mean we were all created and thought of equally he didn't say or he wasn't thinking about human beings when he was awake and thinking about animals in his sleep that, that, that i don't really think what i said those are human traits and i'm zero percent sure that god has God sleeps and I can't make jokes about God so let's just pretend none of what I said was ever said but technically the, what I'm trying to say is that all animals and all humans were created equally not just animals we have things like the sea which also is a living thing we have things like because we can't really live without water can we we will be, we'll be dehydrated and dead and we can't live without trees they're not animals they don't really move but neither can we communicate with them in any way but without them we won't even be here so technically i mean it would be better for the trees that we are not here because we just chop them down to make things to wipe our ass with. I mean, imagine, imagine trading oxygen, oxygen for the very convenient thing called tissue paper or toilet paper, my bad, toilet paper to just, you know, just start wiping your ass. I mean, it's not a fair trade. I mean, trade or trading is can be summed up in two words equivalent exchange they're not equal exchanges you can't know it's just it's a very stupid thing but that is how it is now i guess i've already summed up what i mean by living creatures i could mean anything that lives anything that has some sort of what sort some sort of a heartbeat of any sort let's say like a tardigrade praying mantis trees water seas mountains anything like that I'm not talking about the TV or your anime program. I'm not talking about that. Those that man-made, so don't really. Yeah, they, they don't. That let's say the value of a DVD and the value of a, a fish is like comparing a molecule or, or a small grain of sand to the entire beach it's just impossible okay so can we actually live without animals i mean i've also covered this topic as well technically we can't live without animals we can't live without animals trees anything that has to do with liquid like water anything like that since we'll be one dehydrated two starving probably dead and three you know dying and oxygen no oxygen in that now clouds are also a very important thing but i can't really compare humans to clouds but they are important and they are also pretty equal to human beings now this is a question i'm actually going to leave for you lot i'm not going to answer it myself at all but i'm going to ask the question for you to answer and have a little talk about in the comments i swear i better see something in the comments if i don't i will find you i'm joking i won't find you i will look for you <laughs> that was also a joke i know where you are already <laughs> a little bit weird <laughs> oh, that was just a joke but seriously yeah. i mean it'll really i really appreciate it to see some some conversation in the comments and the question is if we claim dominance then are we disregarding that we need the other living organisms think about that now
Peace. See you in the next video. Check Matt Adventure if you like movies, animes, cartoons, and anything that's got to do with grain of sand compared to the beach. As I was talking about plastic DVDs, cases, <laughs> uh, like, you know, movies, stuff like that. Just check that channel. Subscribe, like, comment, share, to those because I love turn on post notifications. Peace.